Hi. A while ago, I was looking for a video on YouTube or anywhere of a straightforward comparison of the microphone options of the very, very popular Zoom handheld recording devices, whether it's the Zoom H5, H6, uh, Q8, F8. Um, they have a couple different microphones, and I couldn't really find anything useful or anything at all, so hence why I'm doing this not only to find out for myself, but also to help you find it as well. So, whether you're recording music for uh, a live show, uh, nature sounds, um, dog treat complaint videos, ISIS beheading videos, uh, P90X transformation videos, uh, you're gonna wanna choose your microphone carefully so people can pick up on exactly what you're saying. Again, these are the three microphones that are compatible with the H5, the H6, the Q8, and the F8. And the H5 comes with just the XY mic, uh, and the H6, I believe, comes with the XY and the mid-side mic. Um, and the conditions in here, I have a furnace over there, a hot water heater over there, HVAC system going crazy. This is not an ideal place to be recording anything, hence why I'm doing it here, because if you're actually recording something with your camera, it's not going to be in a sound studio. So, let's begin. So this is the one that you've been hearing. This is the XY6 Stereo Capsule. Um, it's the standard XY microphone that comes with, uh, it's built into everything from the H1 to the H2, the H, there was an H3, was there an H3? H4, H4N, H5, it comes with H5, it comes with H6. Um, and then almost every other portable recorder has an XY. And the reason is, is that they're really good um, field recorders. Uh, they're good for just general field recording, capturing environments. Um, it's also really, really handy. It is an isolation booth microphone to pick up and record instruments, uh, as well as voice. Um, I like it because it records organic sound, not just the guitar playing, but it, it can record uh, sort of what's coming out of the back of the guitar, or what's uh, coming out of the, the throat of the vocalist. So that's not applicable everywhere, but um, it's a really good option. I've used it a plenty. Uh, I tend to choose XY mics for recording any live shows of mine, uh, but the results are pretty wildly dependent on placement. Uh, I've often recorded two dynamic mics, uh, duct tape somewhere around the venue, running XLRs into the input of the recorder, and then use the XY as a supplemental stereo track uh, for the room or the audience or something like that. Um, this is a matter of personal opinion, though, and uh, mine tends to be shit. And even though it's kind of humiliating, I'm gonna recite my ABCs so you can hear how much it picks up. Uh, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. And now I'm going to go to the right side of you. And you can hear me over here on the right side. And now, I'm going to the left side of you, and here's me on the left side of you. And that should give you an idea of the stereo range of the microphone. Okay, right now you're hearing the MSH6 mid-side microphone. Uh, this one's interesting if you're not familiar with mid-side mics. Uh, it's the ball-shaped mic, and it's actually two mics. It looks like it's just one, but it's two. It has a great mono capability, and it allows you to adjust the width of the stereo image in post-production. Uh, which is, I guess, useful if you wanted to record a naked man in Times Square uh, screaming about the second coming of Christ, but you wanted the option to manipulate the levels of the police sirens coming to arrest him. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I'm going to go to your right side, and keep in mind that if you learn a little bit, you could actually edit out what you hear here. And I'm going to your left side, and again, you could focus more on where the mic's pointed and less on this if you mess with some stereo imaging. And that's the ball mic, the mid-side microphone. And what you're hearing now is the SGH6 shotgun microphone. Uh, this is pretty much an accessory that you have to buy separate to all of the zoom recorders. So a shotgun microphone bless you, is designed to have a narrow focus that does a pretty decent job at blocking out whatever it's not pointed at. Why don't we call them sniper mics, uh, right? When you add amplification to the situation, you could say that it adds reach to the microphone. 
um, this is probably what you would want to use if you were to do an interview with somebody uh, on the street or anywhere where you have a lot of noise coming from all over the place and you just want one subject to be clear. Um, as you can probably hear, unless this is just a train wreck, uh, you probably can't hear much else other than me talking right now, even though I have a HVAC running and all that stuff. Um, and it also shoots uh, 12 gauge slugs into the face of the people you're interviewing. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I'm going to go to your right. And here I am talking on the right of you. Now I'm going to go to your left. And here I am talking on the left of you. Hopefully this video has helped you decide which microphone you should buy and or use, whether you're mounting it on top of a camera, the, the zoom, they have the mount circle on the hot shoe, or you're recording a guitar or you're recording a show or something like that. Uh, and if you like the video, uh, subscribe. And if I get 100 million subscribers within 24 hours, I will uh, compare my two vacuum cleaners, my new one and my old one, and show you which one picks up dog hair better. Thanks for watching.